It's a dance, it's music and it's also poetry that represent the heart of Buenos Aires. Every year the Tango Festival and World Championship take over the capital. Vanessa Giraldo and Jason Ravagli are from Colombia. This is the third time they've participated in the championship. Coming here is very difficult for us because we have to save money since there's no government support. But it's worth it because tango gets into your body and takes over your life. Tango was born in the 1800s in the River Plate, the natural border between Argentina and Uruguay. It was recognized by the UN in 2009 as part of the nation's cultural heritage. The competition includes categories for classic tango, but also stage tango. The more acrobatic variant that allows dancers to jump and break the traditional embrace. At least 750 couples participated in the Tango World Championship, coming from over 50 countries, including Brunei and Myanmar. A few of them made it to the final, that is happening right here in this arena. Thousands of people showed up at the event, but the festival, which runs for two weeks, has a lot more to offer. Live music, dance classes and milongas, where people just want to get together to dance. Eduardo Arquimbao is a maestro. He says the tango embrace is about respect and emotion. It's a luxury to see young people dancing to be able to come here and dance, people that come from all over the world to learn and they come to a place where tango runs in our blood. And there is no age limit to learn. Victor Salcedo says he started dancing only nine years ago. It's important for humanity, for the people, for children. It helps to keep the culture, it feeds the spirit. It's only three minutes of pure love. Love, passion and joy is what brings people together in Buenos Aires. All of them agree, it's a moment to focus on the beauty of this music and dance and let go of everything else. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.